What's up guys, welcome back to Road to Dark Aether series. In our last episode, our top comment was from Caden saying he wants to use the FFAR. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Really quick, here's my camera progress on the FFAR. Uh, this might surprise you, but we have everything done except for criticals and we need a lot of them actually. So this one might be a little long. Also, here's my attachments really quick. We have the SOCOM Eliminator, the Cavalry Launcher Barrel. Uh, I wanted to do more armor damage without having extra recoil. Steady Aim Laser, Field Agent Grip. We have the 44 round Fast Mag, Airborne Elastic, and the Tactical Stock. So basically for the most part, I'm using everything in this dead op blueprint. Uh, it's been a while since I've used this, so I wanted to check it out. And I think we're gonna go with Ring of Fire today. So yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're doing. Since we need crits, I think it might be faster to do Die Machine or D Machine. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in on there now let's get this thing gold all right coming in on our uber air once again returning to d machine we got a nice ffar on us actually i'm gonna go ahead and change up the graphic settings here so we can actually see what it looks like i'll put the model quality on high for this one i think that looks a little better i usually keep everything low because streamlabs really likes to to chug along so i i keep all my settings at the very lowest that way you know, i can record for as long as i need to but it will make it a little exception for today uh last time we tried to speed run turning the power on on firebase z i do want to do that on d machine at some point but i'm gonna practice our social distancing challenge uh maybe we can get it done today but i doubt it because i have not attempted it so far we're we're one round in and we're, we're doing all right it's gonna count for something so i think what we need to do is once we go turn power on and everything we need to leave a zombie and we'll we'll go through get everything on get our gun pack a punch uh we'll, we'll wait to do the easter egg i think until megaton round and i don't even know what round that is but i guess we'll, when we hear the noise for the megaton spawn then I, I know when you start the coffin dance easter egg the megaton despawns uh oh we almost got hit there the ffar definitely is not the best gun to do this with it's got to be a smg i do want to hit that nuke just because of the social distancing challenge we also need crits like we, we got multiple things going on here there we go normally i would put a red dot or something on this ffar wow that really disappeared as we slid into it but i think these iron sights are really clean and you know you kind of after you know the whole ffar meta and war zone you kind of got uh, you know i kind of got used to them but it has been nerfed since it's still pretty good at like short range that i've seen in war zone but right now i don't think it's anything too special oh insta kill we need that okay we're four rounds in and we haven't got touched just 16 more oh shit i'm standing right next to a spawn that could have been bad now this is my first ever time attempting the social distancing challenge so i don't know all the, the rules and everything i've seen uh samuel do it a few times on his streams but he was also playing like different cod games well, i want to be trying it here I think we can get to at least round 10. That's at least my, that's my goal. If we can get halfway there on our first try, I think we're in good shape. I just gotta be on my A game. The dog rounds what kind of scares me because the gas, like it's, it's damage of any kind, not just a zombie hitting you. It could be gas. It could be them throwing shit at you. It could be fall damage. Uh-oh, no ammo. So let's do this just in case. Oh, stun myself. Okay, got a little ammo here. Max ammo is about to spawn per die machine quota. Ooh, okay, it's round five, but I'm sweating a bit. Yep, there it is. Always spawns the same round you buy max ammo on. Okay, round six. I think we can survive one more round here. I think we'll, we'll wait till round seven. Actually, I don't know how fast I want to turn the power on. Actually, I think round 15 is when the Megaton comes in if you don't turn power on. So I don't, I don't know what I want to do here. Also, we got our first reaction here. On our gun, we have the little red waves. Red little scratches, whatever you want to call them. Wait. When that stun hit me earlier, does that count as damage? I don't think getting stunned is damaged, is it? I might have just screwed myself already. I guess we'll see. Oh no. Okay, we'll go up here, crawl down. Please don't throw shit at me. I kind of want to throw this nade. I do need these crits. So I'll just take a little extra time. And I want to save this ring of fire for when the Megaton comes. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to take it out without it. We can grab these double points. There we go. Okay, we got to leave one at the end of this round. Actually, I don't know. Should we try to stay here as long as possible? Like, if our gun gets too weak and we can't really fight him off, like, what do we do then? Something's squishing around in here. I hear it. There's gotta be a body glitching out in the ground. Oh, reaction number two. We're on some blue waves. The reactionary camos are so nice. I've been using the LC-10 a lot. Uh, if you guys saw my last video, we are practicing for a nuke. 
so we can start doing dark up challenges in multiplayer and i i i've been using the lc10 i practiced a little bit after i recorded that video i want to see how far i can get i've been recording every time i go to practice not really doing commentary but just recording the gameplay just in case i get it and the the lc10 the the reactive blueprint on that is so nice i swear cod knows what guns are going to be like the meta in warzone and they release expensive bundles like either mastercraft or reactive camos for them just to, to scoop up that extra buck oh no okay we have three zombies left let me make sure i get all this scrap Okay, this is our last guy. I wish making a crawler was as easy as just shooting their legs out from under them. But that's not the case here. So I need to hit this, get off of the stairs so it doesn't corner me. Lead him back a little bit. Actually, that's fine. And open this and head up. Oh, wait, this guy doesn't hit me. I'll grab my loose change from here just to buy some time. Okay, I slid past him. I can grab more loose change here. He's still a little bit behind, so I can, I can time this. Quick suicide. Let me in. Okay, we can head through here. Grab this loose change. Okay, we've made it to the power room. Our ember sighting point is working. Actually, we don't even have an ember sighting point. Either way, that one time we were here and the flashlight wasn't working, it's because of the operator. Oh, wait, loose change. Okay, first button is on. I don't know where our zombie is. We have to keep uh, an eye out. There he is. There's Frederick. Let's lead him this way. No, don't climb up there. Come over here. That way we can hop in the anomaly safely. Please don't jump down on me. All right, let's see if we can get like a ray gun or something in one of these crystals. That, that's going to be extremely lucky, but we could. And also you guys were telling me last zombies episode is to not do ooh, armor. It's not do the Easter egg for a jug until I buy my first perk. So I didn't know when you get free jug, it increases the price of your next perk. Because I know the first perk is always like really cheap. But speaking of first perk, I think it's really important we grab stamina up to start. That way we, we, we keep a speed on them. Oh shit, I was not expecting him to spawn there. That kind of scared me a bit. Let's grab these as fast as we can. Okay, hopping through. No time to dick around. Where's the part? There it is. I keep hitting three to pull out my fist like this is Apex. Because I've been playing so much Apex. Uh, the new Apex Arenas mode is so much fun. I know this is... We, we mainly play COD here, but... You, Apex has been a blast. If like you guys are getting sick of Warzone or something, or you still want to play a BR but not Warzone, I I highly highly recommend Apex. It is a lot of fun. Okay, let's go ahead and pack a punch. I didn't need to this early, but we won't have to later. We can also upgrade our weapon one tier. Okay. Now I want to get the hell out of here and keep training in the main area until it gets a little too much. Then we might go to Penthouse. But I don't know how well I'll fare in Penthouse. I know I can I can probably stay up there for a bit, but not getting hit is a different thing. And it's a little foggy, actually. Yeah, we got everything done. Now we wait. Also, here's the blue camo. Okay, here comes the dogs. This round's important. Hopefully they don't spawn on me. I know they spawn in the corners here. Actually, they can just spawn wherever. Stay back. It's probably really important not to cob reload at this part. Nope. Nope. Stay back. This is stressful. Okay, the round's over. I'll wait for the gas to go away. Now we can grab our max ammo. All right, now we got zombies to worry about. If the Megaton comes, I'm gonna try to clear out zombies, hopefully avoid his shots, and then maybe we can hit the Easter egg instead of you know, getting hit by him if we can outrun him. Oh, he's here. I'm gonna try it. This is risky business. Oh, there he is. Did I get it? I think I did. This is probably the worst spot to be to try to avoid getting hit. I'm not scared of anything except that motherfucker down there. Oh my god. No. Holy. Got a loop-de-loop -loop and pull. My shoes are looking good. Oh shit. Maybe not as good as I thought. Oh my god. I'm schmoving. Whew. What am I missing? That one? That's not it. That's not all of them. No, I fell. I'm with Big Daddy. Oh no. How do I get out of this? Can I stun him? I think so. Okay. Whew. Calm down. Hit the shot. There we go. Okay, we can avoid this Megaton. Oh my God. Oof. The social distancing shit's no joke. Oh, thank you. I didn't even think about fall damage there. I don't I don't know if I took any. I probably didn't. But what I'm really concerned about is we're going to go through all this effort just to find out that that stun I threw at like round two to get some ammo did damage. I really hope it didn't. We don't even have enough money to buy perks. 
which is unfortunate, but... And I could be completely wrong about the Dark Aether here, like, coming here, making it so that the Megaton disappears. But from my experience playing it, I could just be misremembering it. But I think he does disappear. Come on, give me Jug. Jug actually might help us survive a fall or two. And this knife will definitely ha help us with our movement speed. Okay, I don't want to be down here anymore. No! You're supposed to be dead. Holy shit. I really thought he was dead. Don't stop shooting until you actually see them die. Pro tip. I have that problem a lot in multiplayer too. Well, I'll shoot and I'll be like, okay, it seems like they're dead. Let me stop. I think we actually avoided that Megaton. Pretty, pretty big brain move. If I do say so myself. I know that's no, I got hit! Oh, speaking of big brain moves, there's me completely forgetting that something can come from behind me. Oh, well. Well, I guess our, our goal today was get to round 10. And we did get a little bit of practice in. I guess I'm going to continue this like I didn't get hit just to keep up the practice. But man, that's disappointing. And we'll never know if that stun actually did affect. I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Anyways, here's the maxed out FFAR blueprint. It looks really nice. Actually, I don't even know if this is maxed out. It might just be like level three. But it looks pretty cool at this rank. <sighs> Dang, I was really feeling it too. Went through all that trouble. Still gonna keep it up though. It'll be good practice for those later rounds. You know, it's probably pretty easy to get to 10 without getting hit. But rounds between 10 and 20? Gotta be a little more difficult. Oh, now we're level 205. I'm so disappointed. Watch. All right, I'm gonna buy ammo now. Max ammo is gonna drop this round. And we still have like 800 crits to go. So I'm gonna start focusing more on crits too. I have been for the most part, but we do need a lot of them. We might actually be able to just go into penthouse. I guess I'll, tr I'll try that out. We can just bob and weave up here. I don't know when the next Megaton comes, by the way. So I don't know what round I should be saving my uh, Ring of Fire for. So I guess this is a good time to... Like, if you guys know what rounds Megatons come on, so I'm pretty sure it's the round after you turn power on now. But if you don't turn power on, it's going to be round 15. And then after that, I don't know when they, they come in. It could be like every three rounds or something like that. But I don't know shit about fuck, so you guys tell me. And it's really convenient when the anomaly spawns up in Penthouse. You just hit that, and then you go into the Wonder Fizz. Get Deadshot. Get all of our perks out of the way. And we got puppies. There we go. That's scary how close it got. Can I snag this? Okay. So far, I'm actually really impressed with myself that I've made it this far, only getting hit once, maybe twice, depending on if that, that stun counts. Also, let me know if you guys know if stuns and stuff like that count as damage. I don't think it does. I'll, I'll just actually have to check the footage to see if the damage goes down. It could also just count it as damage too for the challenge, so I'm not sure. Oh, fuck, I got hit again. Even though it doesn't even matter at this point, I need to... Oh, there's three times. Four times, five times. Okay. Round 14 is where I lose it. Yeah, I've been hit probably about like 25 times. And there's a Megaton. Oh my. Yeah, round 14 is where it all goes down. Maybe it's just how I play in here. Like my, my lack of penthouse knowledge, ability, and experience. Round 14 also just could be when it gets spicy. Yep, and there's another hit. Yeah, so basically we uberly fucked this challenge up but we had a good run we did a good job at the start that's all that matters and i know there's probably like easy ways to cheese the social distancing challenge like having a bunch of friends play and have them use like frenzied guard but i that's not fun no one wants to see somebody cheese it also we're back with the the beautiful looking jellyfish and this fully reacted ffar Oh, we got hit again. All right, so we, we've amassed probably about 11 hits of damage. And we're only on round 16. Oh, yeah, make that 11 plus how many that was. I'm just going to stop counting at this point. We're going we're gonna to treat each round like it's a new era. Definitely going to need some practice on this. We actually might be better to stay out here for a while. Maybe next time we'll do that. Try to hold our own out here until our gun can't really do that much damage. Nade our way out, leave one, and then... We'll go like turn power on and everything. Cause I think we turned power on way too early. That just gave us unnecessary stress to just screw ourselves out here. Wait, is he going to disappear now that we're leaving the Aether? Did I really just finesse two Megatons? No, I didn't. He's running right at me. Holy fuck. Yeah, I suck cock at the social distancing challenge apparently. Oh, I got no ammo. Max ammo. I don't care about damage at this point. I should really practice though. Our crits are life. 
All right, let's double pack. I think we need it now. Cryo too. I know Deadwire is super effective against Megatons, but we'll we'll just save our Ring of Fire for when Megatons show up. Can at least get blue here. Oh, pink. Let's get it. But well, honestly, that was pretty fun. That whole bobbing and weaving thing, even though it was round 10, I want to do that more. I think I, I caught the itch. I, I, I caught the, the Dark Ops itch. I don't even know what the other Dark Ops challenges are for zombies, but I just know social distancing is the most prominent one. The Dark Ops are probably like complete all Easter eggs or whatever, which we still need to do. I have not done any Easter eggs besides like the ones for Jug. Oh, I shouldn't have grabbed that. I should have waited. All right, 300 crits. We need what? We're at 1,800 out of 2,500. Carry the two. Probably need 700. That's going to be a while. Might as well get cozy in penthouse. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it in the pretty area. There we go. Playing them up. Yeah, so probably definitely need a different weapon and probably a backup weapon. So we might need to do the shockwave for when we actually attempt this or take another attempt at it. At least with the FFAR up there, I don't have enough ammo to get through the whole round. I thought I was going to save my ring of fire for megatons, but I lied. It's too fun not to use. I'm sure elemental pop helps out a lot for this challenge. Like if you're getting like close near zombies or something, or you're low ammo, you can just shoot a bullet and reload and have that little effect come off. And that would be pretty sick. Bro, blow up a little slower. You're scaring the people. Okay, we can, we can pop three now. We'll go do that. But we are on round 23 on the Jordan round. We did not make it to 20 without getting hit, but I will definitely try it again. I think from here on out, unless we're on Firebase, we can even try it on Firebase, but I think it's way harder on there, maybe. Actually, I don't know. I don't, like I said earlier, I don't know shit about fuck. So we should be getting it in the, within the next round. My hope is that we get it before the next exfil, because the last few uh, zombies videos, we've gotten it, and then exfil is like five rounds away. We get it like right after exfil closes. So I want to actually try to exfil this time, but I don't want to play the extra rounds to get to it. Oh, there's Gold Viper. Perfect. And Exfil. Let's go do it. Perfect timing. We have Insta-Kill going too. Beautiful. So we didn't get our social distancing done, but we're, we're pretty well off. Oh shit. I don't have, I do not have a Ring of Fire or any kind of score streak. So maybe we're not as well off as I thought. And D-Machine Exfil is so much harder than Firebase. Like Firebase I exfilled on round 40 using nothing but my weapon earlier when I was getting camos for this. But this Megaton needs to die now because it takes forever for him to split. There we go. We do have a ring of fire, so I'll wait till he's done splitting to launch it. There it is. Oh, fuck. Oh, instantly got the kill, though. Six left. They all crawlers. Oh, they are. Let's go. We did it. We went down, but we still made it out with gold. Let's go. 694 criticals. Only one down. I wish there was like a uh, another one that said damage taken. That would be pretty cool. That would help me gauge how far off I am from getting social distancing. All right, let's take a peek. All right, this is the FFAR with Golden Viper. Does not look good. Plague Diamond, pretty nice. I like how the same tape stays on both of these though. But in Dark Aether... It changes. Dark Aether looks really nice on this weapon, actually. A lot of coverage on the FFAR. I can't wait to get it. So we're six out of nine still. We need one SMG, three TAC rifles, and three assault rifles now. So we're getting close. Uh, we might get the glitch where we get Dark Aether if we do complete an SMG. So if we do complete the SMG neck and we get Dark Aether, we can literally do whatever gun left. I, I won't take any choices on getting Plague Diamond or anything. We can do whatever DLC gun. So the ball's in your court. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment of what weapon you want to see me do next. Top comment will be the weapon that we do in the next video if you like this and you want to see more leave a like on it uh if you didn't you don't dislike and that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later